Welcome. Today we're going to explore getting your classes set up in Seesaw with Classly. So my name is Yvonne and I am a professional development and training specialist here at Seesaw. All right, so this webinar is for admin who plan to use ClassLink to create Seesaw classes this back to school. And just a quick note, we want to um, stay here. So if you will be making any changes um, to the number of student licenses or schools that you plan on syncing, please go ahead and reach out to our support team. Um, so we're going to go ahead and add that support request form in the chat for you. So today we're going to explore how to get set up with class link in Seesaw. So we're going to review how to resume your sync between class link and Seesaw. We're going to troubleshoot sync errors. And we're going to ensure teachers and students can log in and use Seesaw this school year. And of course, last but not least, we're going to share with you our training and PD opportunities here at Seesaw. So as we get started, I wanted to share some common questions and answers that we do get here at Seesaw. So first question is, what will happen to all classes when we sync with ClassLink? So the ClassLink sync will not affect any classes created by your teachers. Manually created classes that will not be in use this school year should be archived by an admin. Last year's class link classes will be automatically archived when the new school year data is synced with Seesaw. So the next question is, we used class link last year. Can I keep my old sharing rules? Yes. There is no need to set up new sharing rules every year unless your Seesaw for School subscription changes to add more schools, grade levels, or subject areas. If your subscription has changed, you can edit your sharing rules to include additional sections or schools. And so again, in the chat, we're going to um, have a linked resource for you that will guide you in that archiving process. So before we get started, let's make sure that you're signed in to your Seesaw for Schools admin account. In order to access your admin dashboard, you must have an admin account in Seesaw. To log in as a Seesaw for Schools administrator, you will need to navigate to app.seesaw.me while on a computer, then click I'm a Seesaw for Schools Administrator. District admin access their roster sync dashboard from their district dashboard. So in order to run a sync, you need to be a Seesaw District Administrator. So once you are logged in, you will want to first resume your nightly sync. Your nightly sync between Seesaw and ClassLink was paused over the summer in order to prevent data changes in Seesaw before your data was ready. So when most of your class data is ready to be shared with Seesaw in ClassLink, you will need to resume your nightly sync in Seesaw. So to resume your nightly sync, you will click the Manage Roster Sync button on your district admin dashboard. That's in the lower right-hand corner. Then you're going to click Resume Nightly Sync, which you'll find in the upper right-hand corner. Now the next step is syncing your data from ClassLink to Seesaw. So after you resume your nightly sync, you will then need to initiate a full sync 
in order to pull your new data into Seesaw and fully restart your sync. So for additional resources and setup steps, we have added a link in the chat for you. So now you're going to click Sync All Schools from your Roster Sync dashboard to initiate a full sync, which will bring new classes into Seesaw and archive last year's classes. So during this process, new classes will be created, existing teacher and student accounts with emails or student IDs that match the information in your class link shared data will be found and updated, and accounts will be created for all students and teachers who do not have existing accounts that match the data in the sync. So just to know, this process can take several hours depending on the amount of data that is syncing. So you can feel free to check back um, later. Uh, and we have added an additional resource for you in the chat as well. So after you run your first full sync between class link and Seesaw, you may find errors on your roster sync dashboard. So errors can block data from fully syncing over and impact students and teachers' ability to fully use Seesaw. So it is important that you only share grade levels and classes you have purchased Seesaw for schools for. Contact the person at your school or district who purchased Seesaw to confirm those numbers. Then go ahead and update your sharing rules. Sharing more students than you have purchased for will create what we call a hold on your sync. Seesaw supports 150 students and 20 teachers per class. Classes will not update if they exceed these limits. So update your sharing rules to fit within these limits. You can find more information on Seesaw user limits in the link that we're going to place in the chat for you. So a grade level is not required in class link. If you don't include a grade level, classes will just sync as what we call grade level other in Seesaw. So for more information on clearing other errors or minor errors, including which errors that require assistance from Seesaw support, we have placed our Seesaw support request form in the chat for you, along with a resource on how to fix class link sync errors. So if one of your schools is paused, you can resume the nightly sync for that school by clicking the three dot menu button next to the school and then select resume nightly sync. For schools that have a hold, you'll need to resolve errors and rerun your sync for that school. To view errors affecting a school in Seesaw, click the View Errors button that appears next to the school. You'll be taken to your error description page. You can also download all of the errors for a school at one time by clicking the three dots button next to the school, and then you can download an error CSV page. So we do recommend checking your roster sync dashboard on a daily basis throughout the year to keep an eye on how your data is flowing into Seesaw and to quickly resolve any errors that may arise. The error description page will show you any errors that occurred. 
So you'll just simply follow the instructions under the resolution to make the changes required to your data in ClassLink or the school's admin dashboard. Once you have resolved these errors, you can clear them by rerunning your sync. So you'll simply click rerun sync from the error description page. If you have more questions about how to resolve an error, you can reach out to the Seesaw support team for more assistance. And again, we have dropped that link in the chat for you. We also have created a video walkthrough of these steps and, exa and an example of a very common error. And you can see this video um, when you receive our slide deck here. It's a great idea to watch that video. Whoops. Welcome. Let's explore. There we go. And um, now we're going to transition over to our PD and training opportunities. So the Seesaw Learning Hub is our newest online portal where teachers and administrators invest in their professional growth to elevate learning in their classroom and explore the best ways to use Seesaw with their learning communities. So we went ahead and put that link in the chat for you. The Learning Hub is separate from the Seesaw app. So there are two different places. So teachers and administrators, just like yourselves, just need to sign in and create an account at learn.seesaw.me to start learning at your own pace. So you can pause and return to the course or courses at any time and continue where you left off. The Learning Hub is broken down into pathways of short courses to help teachers and administrators get started and or go deeper with your Seesaw knowledge. And here is an example of a pathway, which is the Getting Started Pathway. Here you can see that there are five different courses within this pathway. We also have a deepened learning pathway, a pathway for specialist teachers, a Seesaw lessons pathway, a pathway for our Seesaw community members, and an administrator pathway. So teachers and administrators can begin and pause different courses to complete, again, at your own pace. So our PD catalog here outlines all training and professional development that is, that is available for Seesaw administrators. And so we'll go ahead and put our catalog link in the chat for you. And we do continue to have train the trainer support for in-house trainers, coaches, ambassadors, or Seesaw certified educators. So you can access our resources and our free PD kits at web.seesaw.me backslash Seesaw for Schools PD. And we really do recommend bookmarking this page for quick and easy access. And here you can find more detailed information about PD formats and sessions that are available. And we went ahead and dropped that link in the chat for you as well. And for you as an administrator, you can find uh, setup steps and resources here. We also recommend bookmarking this page for quick access. So on our training page, you will find upcoming free webinars that you and your staff can register for to support you in getting up and running with Seesaw for back to school and beyond. And again, I would highly encourage you to bookmark this page. So just like you did today, you went and registered for this session. We've got great upcoming back to school webinars for your teachers. 
All right, so Seesaw Connect is happening right now. So our free virtual conference for every Seesaw educator and administrator started last week on Monday, July 25th. You can enroll right now to get access to 30 plus conference courses, which you will have access to until August 14th. Administrators, um, you can also nominate educators to be fast tracked to ambassadors. So this guarantees successful Seesaw implementation and Seesaw PD for your school. So you can talk to your CSM to get your nomination type form. We have also added some community resources for you in the chat as well. And if you're responsible for training other teachers or supporting their implementation of Seesaw, you have the opportunity to fast track into our Seesaw Ambassador community. So this is available only to you as a paid school. This gives you access to a network of support with other Seesaw leaders. So again, you can nominate up to three leaders of the district or school level to fast track. So in the chat, we have added how to connect in a Seesaw learning community and how to become a Seesaw pioneer. So now that we've covered how to set up classes with ClassLink and all of our available resources, let's go ahead and open it up for questions. So let me pull over our chat and let's see if we've got any questions in here. Let's see, if y'all have any questions, please feel free to type them in the chat or in the Q&A. See, it looks like um, our back channel has been on top of it. Any other questions? If not, I'm going to give you all some of your um, time back. I know it's a very busy back to school season. Any other questions? Anything else? Oh, we got one coming in. All right. We have a question. Can parents be connected via class link? So I know for Seesaw and Mimi, I think you're on, so you can correct me if I'm wrong. But at Seesaw, we just do... Um, teachers, students, and administrators. That's correct. Okay. That was a great question. Any other questions? All right, giving everybody wait time. The teacher in me wants to give you wait time. Oh, I think we got one more. Okay, we got an answer. Yes, we do have a wonderful support team that's here to help you. And Mimi went ahead and put our, um, support email in there. Thank you, Mimi. All right. Any other questions? Y'all have been fabulous today. Okay. Well, I want to, oh, we have one more coming in. We'll answer it before. Oh, okay, Mimi's on top of it. Thanks, Mimi. 
All right. Well, we want to thank you all for joining us today. If there were any questions that went unanswered, we will be sure to follow up with you. And we hope to see you soon again here at Seesaw. Bye, everyone.